I want to go now to Amy Anderson, who's also live out here in Linwood with another incredible story. Amy. Just one right after another out here, Ellen and Brad. It is both devastating and unbelievable to look around this area where we're standing and know that just 24 hours ago, there was a beautiful home here. It's on a beautiful dairy farm. The Hahn family lost everything in the tornado that ripped through here around dinner time last night. That storm so powerful, it left everything in their world splintered or shattered. They lost their home, their garage building. They even had to put down several dairy cows that were too injured to survive. Others were killed when the barn collapsed on them. The family had been keeping a close eye on that storm when it became very clear they were right in the path. I was on the phone with my, my cousin the whole entire time, and and uh, he's like, in one minute, it's going to be right on top of you. And he was watching the news, and they, they were tracking it. And he stood on the phone with me the whole time, and while we were sitting down there, next thing I know, I looked over to my right, and I could see our our bedroom floor being, our sub floor being ripped off the top of the house. And we opened up the door then into the stairwell, and it was nothing but daylight above us, so we knew, we knew. It was going to be bad. And back out here live, you know that in any catastrophic situation like this, you always hear about the helpers. And there are so many of them out here on this dairy farm today that have come to help the Hahn family. You'll meet them coming up tonight at 6. And I have to tell you about something that just happened. We had someone come up and show us a picture on their cell phone. I'll try and get that and tweet that out later. But they found a little tiny, like one week old fawn just out in the middle of nowhere crying. They don't know where the mom is. Um, the brother didn't make it. He was nearby, but they went ahead and put that baby back out there gently to leave it there to see if hopefully mom will come back. If not, they'll try and get him some help tomorrow. But just little glimmers of hope amid all this destruction. You see that all the time out here. Reporting live in Linwood, Kansas, Amy Anderson, KCTV5 News.